we're basically flying. It's an incredible feeling. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm coming to you from Stockholm, where I'm visiting Candela, the manufacturer of premium electric boats. But these aren't just any electric boats, they actually fly across the surface of the water. Come along with me, I'll show you what I mean. They told me that they would pick me up in front of my hotel with the boat, and there's my hotel over there, and I'm pretty sure coming around here is my ride. This is so funny, I've done a lot of press rides, but I've never been picked up by boat before. So this is Michael from Candela, who picked me up and spent the day with me while we toured around the Stockholm Archipelago on the Candela C7 electric boat. The thing that makes these boats so unique is that they are basically the most efficient boats in the world, gas or electric. Electric boats have a lot of advantages. They're quieter, cleaner, cheaper to operate and maintain, etc. But their big drawback is that it's hard to put enough battery in them due to how inefficient boats are having to push all that heavy water out of the way. But Candela's boats have a pair of computer-controlled hydrofoils that lift the boat out of the water and make it extremely efficient, meaning you can get away with less battery. In this case, just a 40 kilowatt hour battery produced by BMW. So we're cruising along now at five knots and we're using just over one kilowatt hour per, per nautical mile. So now I'm gonna do a takeoff. You basically just push the stick forward. Now we're pulling about 55 kilowatts and the computer is just controlling everything for the takeoff. And now we're actually flying. I don't hear the water at all. So now if I bring it down to about 22-ish knots, now we're still using just under one kilowatt hour per nautical mile. So we're using the same amount of energy as when we were doing five knots, but we're going four times the speed. And the fact that we're flying makes it that efficient. We're up out of the water and I can't hear the water. We're just, we're basically flying. It's an incredible feeling. After a few minutes showing me how to operate the boat, Michael trusted me enough to let me go solo. He joined Maria in another C7 chase boat, which actually happens to be the first Candela production boat ever made, kinda cool, and they followed while I spent the afternoon flying at a cruising altitude of 70 centimeters or about 2 feet. What's amazing is just how little wake is created by the boat, essentially zero wake. Just a few bubbles from the hydrofoils and their struts cleanly cutting through the water at 20 to 30 knots. The ride is also incredibly smooth because you're not bouncing or crashing into waves like a typical boat. Look at this comparison of a similar sized V-hole boat next to the Candela C7. It's pretty incredible the difference. It's so cool to just feel like you're flying. Yeah! <laughs> Another major advantage of hydrofoils is they basically cure seasickness. If you're like me and you can get seasick so easily that standing next to a tall glass of water gives you pause, you'll love hydrofoils. I had absolutely zero problems the entire day, with the exception of when we'd stop and come down from the foils. Bobbing around like any other boat started to turn me green, but that just gave me more reason to want to get back up on the foils again quickly. It's also amazing just how easy the boat is to operate. It looks like it should be complicated, but I'm literally just keeping the wheel straight here. Everything else is automatic. What amazes me is just how automatic the flight control is. When I push the power forward, we take off, and I'm not really doing anything. The hydrofoils steer automatically to maintain the proper ride height and direction. The computer controls a slight bending of the blades over 100 times per second, and it corrects for waves and boat wakes. I was able to pass right through most boat wakes, though twice I tried to cross a huge wake from a 100 plus foot ferry, and I didn't quite make it. In that case, the boat lands itself automatically, and then you can just perform another takeoff on the other side of the wake. The C7 was designed to handle moderately choppy water, like the kind you find in these straits and around the archipelago here. It's not really meant for open ocean swells or super choppy water, but the company is beginning production of the larger C8 boat that will be able to handle more chop and larger waves without needing to land. The C8 boat is also designed for mass production, unlike the C7 here. I had the chance to tour the Candela factory and see how the C7s are hand built, which is pretty cool, but it obviously limits production while increasing the price. Pretty much everything here on the boat is carbon fiber, 
even these motor mounts that look like machined or cast aluminum. It's all carbon fiber, hand laid. That rockets up the price to the high 200,000s of euros. But the upcoming C8 that is larger and has a cabin under the main deck with room for sleeping and even a bathroom and shower will actually be priced around the same even though it's a much more capable boat. That's what mass production and economies of scale can do for you. Until then, the C7 is definitely a great day cruiser boat. We spent the morning flying around, then stopped for lunch, and continued for another hour or more in the afternoon before heading back and charging. The boat currently requires an overnight charge, which seems reasonable considering that you're probably not out boating at night, but the C8 will offer DC fast charging, which would get you back out with a full battery after a lunch charge stop. Most docks have marine power anyway, so it's not like you'd need to install power for level 2 charging. Now obviously this is an expensive and unique boat, but I think Candela has really landed on something here. The efficiencies are undeniable. You get around 50 nautical miles of range from a 40 kilowatt hour battery. Very few electric boats can get more range than that, and the ones that do usually have around 5 to 10 times more battery capacity. So if you want to eventually bring costs down by reducing battery in electric boats, you've got to make the boat more efficient, and getting it out of the water is the best way to do that. Alright, so it's time to head back. I'm going to land the boat. It's amazing how easy this is, all automated. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed coming along on that first test ride here on the Candela C7. If you did enjoy the video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time everyone.